Hey, welcome to My Growth Club. This is Nikhil and My Growth Club is the only place for a growth professional to find all his updates. So don't forget to subscribe. As you are aware, digital marketing is changing fast. And one of those changes has been led by Google Analytics 4. Google Analytics 4 is not only an upgrade from Universal Analytics, but it's a completely new product. Now with new product, there are challenges and there are opportunities. Today we are going to discuss one of those opportunities in way of machine learning algorithms which are available with Google Analytics 4. Today we are going to discuss a specific algorithm called anomaly detection. Anomaly detection is an algorithm which is inbuilt into Google Analytics 4 uh, for which you don't even have to write a single line of code and you can still get our report for anomaly detection automatically. Let's see how it can help your marketing decisions. Uh, let's start with basic. What is anomaly detection or what is an anomaly? As you can see on your screen, there is a yellow duck right between all those white ducks. This yellow duck is an anomaly. What, what does that mean? This means that this is different from everything else. If there is a set of users who is behaving differently or if same users are behaving differently on certain dates or certain time period, then it is an anomaly. If user behavior is either different, it can be higher or lower for a certain metric than what is expected of a user. It can be a uh, number of sessions, conversion rate or any metric that is not as per your normal metric, but it's either higher or lower, then it's an anomaly. As a marketer, as a growth marketer or as a growth product manager, it's important to understand the source of this anomaly. It's important to understand why there has been this change of behavior. Has it been led by a marketing campaign? Has it been led by a product change? Has it been led by something else which is not controlled by your product and marketing? It can be like uh, holidays, long weekends. It can be discount coupons or specific campaigns or there are zillion other reasons that can lead to an anomaly. But it's important to understand why anomaly has been caused. and if a if it's a good anomaly can it be replicated can you make it happen again if it's a bad anomaly where your matrix have suffered what can you do to prevent it from happening again so let's understand how to detect anomalies and then how to prevent them so there are uh, three settings in google analytics for anomaly detection first one is training data set second one is sensitivity and third one is granularity uh, we will see how to set these settings in the interface itself. This slide is just to give you an overview of what the settings are. So let's head over to Google Analytics demo interface. Here we go. This is Google Analytics demo account and I have already created an anomaly report for you. If you want to create it, I'll just explain you where to you can find it. It's inside analysis hub. If you create an exploration report and with one metric and one dimension to start with, you will find here a toggle switch which basically you can turn off or turn on for anomaly detection. Second, inside the anomaly detections, once it is turned on, you will find a slider for training period. What does training period mean? Training period means the data set which will be used to predict what is normal and what is abnormal. So the higher the training period, the more accurate your data will be. So my suggestion, keep it as high as possible. Sensitivity is a setting that which you can use to define the anomaly sensitivity where sensitivity if set higher, the anomaly, the number of anomalies which are detected will be higher. So if I just slide it down, slide down the sensitivity to minimum, as you can see on your screen, my screen is refreshing and the anomalies have reduced. So you can see now on this peak here on 8th of December, there is just one anomaly. But if I slide this again to the highest, 
here we go here in this peak you will see four anomalies from 6th of december 7th of december to 9th of december so the crux of the matter is that if you keep sensitivity high you will be shown more anomalies if you keep sensitivity low you will be shown less anomalies what is right and what is wrong uh, that really depends on how sensitive you want your anomalies to be so you try it out and whatever works just go along with it now let's understand how this works the third setting actually i forgot to tell you uh, third setting is a granularity as you can see here you can set the granularity by day week hour or month so for now i'm going to set it to day it's the easiest one to explain my breakdown is by country and values which is matrix is active users and by default for anomaly detection on the horizontal axis you will have the timeline of whatever uh, granularity that you have chosen which in my case is day <coughs> now here we go uh, there are multiple anomalies shown here you can see there are some anomalies here uh, for united states on 13th of october uh, expected users were 2.4k but actual users were 5.8k now i don't live in the united states so i'm not sure what happened during those days but uh, what i can do is i'll just highlight india here you can just click on any of the dimension and as you can see everything else kind of gets grayed out and only that dimension gets highlighted so i have selected india and as you can see uh, in india on 7th and 8th of december there is a spike where expected visitors were seven uh were 349 and 317 instead of that uh the site got more than 600 visitors why did this happen now there can be multiple reasons why this happened google might have run a specific campaign during that period for india they might have run a specific coupon was there something special happening in india during that time I looked for it. There was no festival during that time in India. It wasn't even a weekend. It wasn't a long weekend. It wasn't a national holiday. So what happened? Then I dug deeper. And what I found out is during those two days, there were nationwide farmers protests in India, which basically meant a lot of people didn't go to office because of protest. The transportation was not working in some of the areas. So a lot of people didn't go to office, they stayed home and they spent more time online. They spent more time online browsing for websites, for shopping and stuff. That can be one reason why there was a spike in traffic during these two specific days from India. Now this is I'm just giving you as an example. There can be multiple reasons, but once you have your own marketing data and your calendar data as well as your product release data you can actually make more sense out of this anomaly detection and and put cause and relationship to much better use just to recap uh three variables which are available for us to set is training data set higher the training set data set the higher the accuracy sensitivity higher the sensitivity more anomalies lower the sensitivity less anomalies granularity you can set it by time period which is daily weekly hourly or monthly and uh, this prediction of what is normal and what is not normal is done by something called bayesian series of prediction now uh, as a marketer i think you should get used to all these terms uh, let's say five years ago marketing was uh, all about like four p's and five m's and three t's and stuff like that not anymore you need to understand the statistically significant terms uh, which are going to rule the growth as well as marketing space for quite some time. So this specific anomaly detection is predicted by Bayesian series of prediction. You can look up online how it is done. Uh, probably you are not a machine learning or a data scientist professional. So you wouldn't understand the nitty gritties of it, but you should understand the, at least the logic behind how Bayesian series works for prediction of a matrix. On another note, this would have been great if we could have had annotations. Now, Universal Analytics had annotations and just imagine that along with anomalies, if you could have had annotations, you could have had that cause and effect relationship 
much more clearer. Unfortunately, in Google Analytics 4, there are no annotations. So you'll have to maintain your campaign or your product release database offline in a spreadsheet or something like that and then map it with anomalies. I hope soon Google Analytics 4 will come up with annotations and make our life easier and uh, it will make also anomaly detection much more robust feature. Hope you enjoyed that. This is Nikhil signing off. But if you want a specific topic to be covered in one of my sessions, please do comment and I'll get right onto it. Thanks.